Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite applications for the Mac. Alright, I just switched to a Mac um, a month or two ago, and I found all these applications very useful. The first one I'm going to show you is called um, Right Zoom, and what it basically does is it makes it so... Here, let me show you an example. You, see, you know how, if you're a Mac user, you know how... In a window, the little green button for to maximize it doesn't really maximize it. It just adjusts the window to be, to best display the um web page. Like it doesn't maximize the window itself. It just puts it for best way to view the web page. But some people don't like that and are used to the thing of ma making it maximize the full screen. So what you just want to go ahead and do is open application applications folder, launch right zoom. And then it just maximizes the full screen. It'll do that for all your windows. And then you just set it to you just set it to like start when system starts, which I normally do. Okay. And another app I'd like to show you that I think is cool is um caffeine. What well, caffeine already is already I already have it launched. What you do you just click it and it launch. And it's not an actual program like you open down here. It's actually like a little icon that only sees up there and what it does is when you click it and it looks like let me zoom up looks like it's full of coffee you see that 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 means the computer has caffeine so it won't like dim the screen or anything for if you want to watch a video on YouTube or you're watching a movie or anything to, just to prevent the computer from going to sleep I'm not really gonna use that right now and um Another app, neat app is called Bullet. What Bullet does is you can just like open it and just click here. You can just shoot all over your desktop and you can hit it. You can show a bullseye. You can hit it. You can hit spray. You can even do target. But yeah, who needs that? But um, another app I think is very cool. It's called Verbalize. You can just type in anything like um. Hi. Turn my volume up here. Hi. 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 Or anything you want. You could change the voice and everything. <sighs> okay, and not one application is called Liquid Mac. You can just click it and it opens. It's it's really cool. You can't tell us right now, but I'm tilting my Mac to the right. You tilt your Mac to either side, and the liquid runs. And here you could change all... Over here you can change all the um, various properties of the liquid and the simulation speed. Like, make it go... You can make it go... Like, like, syrup. Or you can make it go slow, like very non-dense liquids. Another app is ScreenFlow, which I'm using to record this right now. I'll do another video on that later. And um, another app is called Wall Saver. It basically lets you use a screen saver as your desktop wallpaper. Like just a normal screen saver. Again, I will put a link to all of these in the video, or well, most of them. And if I can't find a link, I'll just put Google it. And one app, another app is Paintbrush. It's like Microsoft Paint for Mac. Um, you can do all this stuff and change the color and race. Don't need to save that. Anyway, um. <clears throat> Uh, let's think another one. I would I definitely re recommend Mozilla Firefox. It is a terrific browser, and it works for some things that Safari isn't doesn't work too well with. Anyway, and this is Odyssey, Odyssey, which is a a nice audio editing program. I'm not going to go into details with that because there's a upload limit to these YouTube videos. So yeah, um, Google SketchUp is a neat program. It lets you make 3D models. Um, up here is Alarm Clock, which is an app that lets you use your Mac as an alarm clock. I'll go over that in further detail in another video. 
Um, here's Google Earth, which I think is really, really cool. Well, that's loading. Let me see if I can find any other apps to show you. Um, here's an app, iStumbler. It's an app that lets you discover hidden wireless networks. Um, I'm not going to go into detail with that again. Um, you can just look around, make sure you didn't forget anything. Oh, App Cleaner. App Cleaner is an app that lets you permanently delete any app on your Mac. Because when on OS 10, when and to delete it, to delete an app, you just drag it to the trash out of here. But that may not always delete all the registry files for it and everything. So you just drag the icon of the app to it. Like let's say I wanted to delete iStumbler. I just drag it there. And it would do that. I hit delete and empty the recycle bin, but I, I don't want to delete it, so I'm just going to cancel that. All right, anyway, let me show you Google Earth. Um, it's like a 3D Earth here. Let me just, like, type in my zip code. Bring me to my town. I can go through my town. Find my house. Huh, there's my house right there. Right, it's really cool. You can go on tours and all that neat stuff. Okay, and um, I will put all the links in here that I can find. If I can't refine the links, then I won't. I won't put them in. And that's pretty much all I got right here. Please subscribe. It's free. Um, please look. Look around my channel for some more videos I plan on doing soon. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.